happy second day back from break. Today we're going to be talking about New Year's resolutions and how to stay on top of them and even hearing some of yours. Before that, we will go to news with Josh. State police charged 43-year-old William Spears with two unlawful surveillance along processing two modified and unregistered assault rifles. William was accused of taking photos of two girls and dressing without them knowing and uploading their pictures online. William was also charged with endangering the welfare of children. Monday night at a colonial laundromat on west side of Syracuse were robbed for, by four men. The robbery took place around 8.45 p.m. according to Syracuse police. The four men entered a colonial laundromat along 100 block of Grand Avenue where they faced covered along with detectives and stolen personal items and of the men and they had a gun. The men left the scene before police arrived. Syracuse police are asking anyone with information, please call them at 315-442-5222. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. ASM Duck will be holding a staff versus student basketball game in the large gymnasium at the high school on January 12th. We are looking for faculty and students to participate. In order to participate, each player will need to raise $30 and you will receive a free t-shirt on a first come first serve basis. The first 20 students and the first 20 staff members will be signed up. All proceeds will go to the ESM Youth Sports Foundation. See Rachel Underwood and Cameron Ewer or come down to B4 if you would like to participate and or have any questions. There will be a meeting for all athletes trying out for JV baseball basketball baseball. baseball in room D9 after school this Thursday. Please see Mr. Golesky with any questions. The morning weight room will be closed on Wednesday, January 8th. Please see Coach Eschbacher with any questions. So Amber, do you have any New Year's resolutions? I do. They're a little bit more laid back than a traditional New Year's resolution because I am usually pretty bad about keeping up with them. But I'm going to be trying to drink more water and to stay on a more consistent exercise plan. What about you, Allie? Well, being junior year, I've been a little more stressed and down than usual, so I'm trying to focus on all of the good things in life and making the most out of each day. One of the reasons I've always had a hard time keeping up on resolutions is because I forget after like 10 minutes. <laughs> well, if people have specific resolutions, there's plenty of apps that will help you keep track of these things. So some log your fitness, moods, drinking water, or they can even log how much money you can spend and save. One thing that I have been trying is to write myself notes and leaving notes around my room. Um, my backpack and the car are a great way to remind you of little things to keep up on. Many people also have started bullet journaling to keep track of scheduling and also as a method of relieving stress for some people. Many ways to keep up on your resolutions are very simple. Some things, about, uh, some things that people forgot about are piggy banks or jars with a glued lid that you can put ones and fives in every time you get them. I know my sister tried this last year and she cracked it open and she had like $500, so it's a pretty good idea. So without further ado, further ado, let's head over to weather with Emily. Earthquake in Puerto Rico has killed one person early Tuesday morning. The 6.4 magnitude earthquake is the largest in the string of earthquakes that have struck Puerto Rico in the past few days. The victim, a 77-year-old, was killed on the southern, southern coast after a wall collapse. The director of Puerto Rico's seismic network has stated, We expect that this will be the largest quake for now. The aftershocks will con continue for some time. Good morning. Today we'll have some clouds and sun with an inch of snow overnight. Moving on to Wednesday, temperatures will cool down and snow showers will be quite possible. Thursday's high should be generally the same as Wednesday's 32 degrees, but no sign of snow. Friday and Saturday will have a high of 45 and 48. Sunday will have a high of 37 and Monday will have a high of 43. I'm Emily with your weather. What is your New Year's resolution for 2020? Uh, become a better gamer, because why not? I have nothing else to do in my life. I don't have one planned out yet, just because I need to come up with something that I can keep, because I usually break them if I make them. To practice trombone every day so I can get into music school. I'm going to get some abs. Congrats. 
Uh, my New Year's resolution is to go to the weight room and get really diesel. To get a girlfriend. My New Year's resolution for this year is to wake up at 4 a.m. and start eating breakfast and working out. Uh, get more sleep and uh, eat better. To do as much nerdy stuff as possible. And my New Year's resolution is to get faster. My New Year's resolution is to say something positive every day. Make new friends. Uh, just to keep my good grades up. That's what I want to do. My New Year's resolution is to simply be healthy and just take care of myself better and look a little slimmer. To not be as annoying. <laughs> hmm. To get more fit. Hartford last night in three sets. Congratulations to volleyball player Olivia Fortuno for winning the Athlete of the Week. Olivia has helped lead ESM to four early season wins, pacing the team in both skills and blocks from the center position. In upcoming games, the wrestling team has a match today at Auburn at 6. The boys basketball team has a home game against Oswego at 645, and the girls bas basketball team plays at Oswego tonight at 630. Good luck to all the Spartans. So we hope that you learned a few ways to keep up on your resolutions, if they're big or small. And that's all the time we have today. So from me, Amber, and everyone here at the Spartan News, have a great day.